Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I have this 2014 Freyland Cascadia with a D15 engine and this particular truck is having problems with the check engine light on and we're gonna find out what is the problem going on with this engine. So the problem that we're having is check engine light on. There is not a check, it is just the amber light. We can call it emission problem. And uh, the computer is already hooked so we are going to check what type of problem then we have over here and as soon as we connect to the fault codes we can see the code over here the one is on red is the one that is on so this one over here is going to be the one that is active turbo control circuit open uh, when uh, this uh, code appears over here and says circuit open that means that there is a a cable or something then it's not connecting then it is completely uh, apart and the signal is not getting uh, to the computer or the computer it is not sending the signal to the device I'm not completely sure what is the problem but I'm kind of sure where the problem can be so we have different codes related to the same thing we have two turbo control circuit open but we have low airflow code over here but to make sure we want to see when was the last time it was active see 10 6 that was uh, October 6 and today we are October 12 so it was not that far apart so that means that it was active before let's check we have another code over here that's four see this one the four one four seven so that means that this one is an old code, that's not a problem. And this one over here, 10, 7, see, this one was uh, active before. And this one says circuit felt high, which means then there is a high source that is getting ground uh, up. It then is contacting the surface of the sensor signal. The cable probably is getting a uh, rub against a positive source and that is what is telling about this code and let's see over here we have another one but this one was active on 4.8 see this one is an old one and this one over here is an old code as well so we have two different codes this one and this one the inlet manifold pressure high to i mean like uh, i'm sorry is this one right here the turbocharger uh from compressor inlet temperature circuit fell high and this one the turbo control circuit open so these codes mean one thing they have one thing in common then they are related to the wiring of the engine the engine wiring so, uh, suffers damage over the time and this could uh, be a cause of a problem and uh, for that we want to go where the turbo control is to see what we can actually inspect by uh, just our side maybe we can see something broken something uh, off or something so that's the reason why it's good to inspect so let's go to the passenger side that's where the turbo area is going to be so uh, on this side we can clearly see the turbo one thing I noticed as soon as I got here is then the turbo looks a little overheated see the color of the turbo it looks a little blue uh, if I put the light you can see it better see it looks blue that could mean like this turbo is overheating it is uh, working too much or the exhaust temperature is raising like way beyond the limit but anyway uh, probably this is caused because the turbo control is not working probably the turbo is not actually getting activated or deactivated when it is needed because the turbo control it is bad and the turbo control is going to be that little bubble over there that bubble over there that is going to be the turbo control that is the one that is going to control the turbo pressure um, when it is needed or it is not so what I want to do right now is disconnect that uh, b-pod and see if that code exists still after disconnecting the b-pod probably the b-pod went bad and that is the reason why that code is coming on so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to disconnect that and when I go back to the uh, computer and see what other codes we get if we disconnect that 
So after disconnecting the B pod of the turbo, there is no other code. The code is still the same over here, turbo control, circuit open. But we got checking in light on. See the checking in light is on now. So before it was just the amber light, now it is just the checking in light. But the code is still the same. You can clearly see that. So there is two things then we can uh, think about this. So what we have to do is to measure the plug and see if we're getting the right amount of uh, voltage and signal to the plug. And probably is the B-pod then was bad. But in most of the cases with problems like that happen then circuit open, circuit high, circuit low, or things like that, usually what goes bad is the sensor hardness of the engine. It's very possible then that is the problem, but it's better to measure it. So uh, what we wanna do right now is hook the little uh, power probe to the, to the engine of, uh, and, uh, and wanna see what type of signals we get on each individual pin to see if at least we're getting signals. If we're getting the signals then supposed to be there, that means then that this thing is fine. If not, we have to replace the B-pod to start. So what we wanna do right now is to measure the voltage with a uh, power pro this is a very simple power pro you can buy a better one than this one it's a very old one but it does the work we can see the voltage and we can see if we have ground so when I go to the plug over here here is the plug and uh, it has three pins you can see the three pins and each individual pin is going to take one uh, signal one is going to be power one is going to be ground and the other one is going to be signal so we are going to check one we had ground we have power and we have signal so we have the three lines and the three lines seems to be working fine so apparently it looks like the b-pod over here this part over here is the one that is bad probably it is uh all or simply the uh, ele uh electronic components inside went bad so probably we have to replace this one and see what happens and after that if uh this doesn't fix the problem it's going to be the wiring harness but we're gonna start with this one this is how the uh, process of checking this um, problem is going to be. It's going to vary depending on your experience. And uh, pretty much that is how you're going to inspect a truck. Then it's going to have different code. In this case, this code this is the 641.5, uh, uh, but uh, it is going to vary depending on the on the type of problem that you get. I mean, I'm trying to give you how it is to diagnose a truck. It is not so easy sometimes because you have to know what you wanna do. But I'm going to, do, to give you my experience in this video so that way you can understand how to follow the process to inspect a truck. Of course, if you have um, the manuals, if you have uh, whatever, technical data about these kind of problems you are going to follow that the troubleshooting you are going to follow that and you're gonna see if there is a signal here if the wire is not uh, uh, shorted to ground if the continuity from one pin to another pin is fine but that is just someone then reads too many books you have to be uh, good with your experience most than your books is is good than your if you read books but your experience is the one that costs the most because that is how fast you're gonna do a job or how slow you wanna do a job because if we do continuity here from here you wanna take forever doing this and that and that and that, and that. so when I take a solution we have to take uh, a decision what we're gonna replace the freeze and then we're gonna replace another thing uh, and that's how we're gonna go but anyway this is just a short video about how to diagnose a truck 
I'm trying to do more videos like this so that way you can understand how to do it. As you already know, this is no easy task. This is not something that I can teach you because experiences are based on different experiences. So you are going to experience a different uh, problem, but based on that, you want to learn something different. My uh, videos are based just on my own experience, but it's just to give you the idea on how you are going to uh, create your own experience. Uh, and uh, that's all. If you feel then there is something then I didn't add to the video, make sure to comment below and you can leave that question then probably this video didn't answer or simply you can share your opinions, recommendations, ideas, suggestions or anything else. Probably you can answer other people's questions and that is important. If you can do that, you're going to help me because sometimes I don't have the time to answer all the comments. Uh, if you want to send support to my channel, check the description of the video. I have details how to send support to my channel so I can create videos like this one for everybody. Um, you know, helping everybody at the same time, trying to do that my best on that. Uh, subscribe to the channel is very important. Like the video is important as well and sharing the video is important as well. So we all get a little bit of something. Thank you for watching.